Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Evgeny Posny and Li Ni. This is a game from Prague Chess Festival 2019. Evgeny Posny had white pieces and he started with d4. Li Ni played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, d5, knight to c3. So we have the queen's gambit declined. Bishop to e7, the standard move. Bishop to g5, castling, e3, knight from b to d7, and now rook to c1, b6, c6 is the most played move. b6, intending bishop to b7, but now c takes on d5, and after e takes on d5, the pawn on d5 will block the bishop on b7. Bishop to d3, bishop to b7, and Evgeny Posny castled kingside 2. h6 asking a question, bishop to f4, c5, h3, a6, bishop to f5, rook to e8, knight to e5, knight to f8, queen to f3. White pieces are better placed. Bishop to d6, attacking the knight on e5. It is white to move. This is the critical position of the game. All the white pieces are well placed. But how to continue? What should white do in this position? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Evgeny Posny played bishop takes on h6. Did you find this move? Black to move. Bishop takes on e5. Let's take it back. If g takes on h6, then queen to g3 check. If king goes to h8, what happens then? Then knight takes on f7 check mate and let's go back. If knight to g6, then bishop takes on g6. If bishop takes on e5, d takes on e5, f takes on g6, queen takes on g6, king to h8. Pawn takes knight on f6, threatening check, mate, queen to d7, queen takes on h6, check. White is three pawns up, and for a compensation, he has an attack going. Just kidding. Back to our game. In the game we have bishop takes on e5, d takes on e5, also attacking the knight on f6. g takes on h6, pawn takes knight. Queen takes on f6, knight takes on d5, attacking the queen. Bishop takes on d5, queen takes on d5. The dust has settled a little bit, and white is a pawn up. Black king is somewhat exposed. White is better. The game continued. Rook from a to d8. Queen to f3. Queen takes on b2. White to move. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Evgeny Posny played the best move. Rook to c4, intending to bring the rook to the king's side. Queen to f6, and now no check. Rook to g4 is possible. But rook to f4 was played. Can you see what is the idea behind this move? The threat is bishop to h7 check, winning the queen. Queen to e5. Queen to h5. Black is in trouble. Queen to f6 was played. If something like b5, one line goes like this. Rook to g4 check. Knight to g6. Bishop takes on g6. Queen takes queen. Bishop takes queen. And white is a piece up. Back to our game. In the game, in a difficult position, Li Ni played Queen to f6, but this move has a downside. What is it? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Evgeny Posny played bishop to h7. Check. Knight takes on h7. Rook takes queen. Knight takes rook. Queen takes on h6. Black is worse off materially, with his king exposed. The game continued. Rook to d6. Rook to c1. Knight to e4, queen to f4, rook to f6 attacking the queen, queen to g4, check, 
king to f8, f3, rook to g6, queen to d7, knight to g5, king to f2, knight to e6, rook to d1, c4. Let's take it back. How about rook to d8, attacking the queen? What is the best move for white? What would you do? Then queen to a4. And after rook takes rook, queen takes rook, white is winning back to our game. c4 was played. Queen to d6 check, king to g8, white played the move and black resigned and the move is queen to c6, black resigned. If rook goes to b8, queen takes on c4. You can argue that black could have continued but he was not interested in playing from this position. He was hungry and it was lunch time anyway. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.